Thank you for being part of this channel. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields on this Wednesday, tracking several things. That big moisture plume by the Cayman Islands and Cuba. And look at this. We had some rain and storms overnight. Dominica, St. Lucia, for example. We've had those rain and storms. I want to dive into that for us in the Eastern Caribbean. This here is Philippe. There is a weakening trend in that. That is going to bring rain to parts of the Caribbean. And this behind it, this area here, this could eventually become another named system. So kind of a wait and see. So I want to get into to all of this. Here's the big picture in a stalled front right here across Florida and the northern Bahamas helping to draw on this moisture. Here's the activity right here in the eastern Caribbean. These two spots we're watching out here and you get these old fronts plus some big wind makers headed toward Ireland headed toward the UK as we go throughout the day today and through really the next several days. Now here's the latest track. Let me show you Philippe. The latest track more west. That's because there's a sharp weakening trend in that which is good. All season long we've been hoping to get a weak system moving in to give us some much needed rain. This could be it. Now Philippe itself will be a tropical storm the next day or two. Should just kind of fizzle out but it's moisture will creep our way by the time we get into the weekend. So we're going to see an increased chance of rain, especially by the second half of the weekend, really by Sunday, anywhere from the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Ceiba, St. Martin, Antigua and Barbuda. Rain chance will be a little bit higher as the leftovers of fleet move in. We're going to see that rain chance moving up. I'm going to monitor that. Could see some breezier conditions, some gusty winds. I'll keep an eye on it closely because again, it is still a tropical storm. I do expect it to weaken, but I'll monitor, of course, for any changes. Hopefully, it just brings us some of the welcome rain. So here's the setup. I want to show you a couple things. Uh, the European model first, then the American model, and then get into the spots I'm watching in the Caribbean right now. Here's that spot I'm watching with that heavier rain that's been near Cuba and Florida. Watching this, this here is Philippe, and that little spot behind it, which could become Rena. Now, it's having trouble organizing into Rena. That's because it's so close to Philippe right now that the dominant system takes over. So here's the setup watching these areas. Areas, and there's that big windmaker headed up toward western sections of Europe as we head over the next couple days. Really gusty winds up to hurricane gust up there. Keep us posted in the comments. If you're living over there, let us know what's going on. I'll be monitoring that as well. Now, as we move forward, you see here, watch that spot right there. That's Philippe or what's left of it. This is by the time we get into tomorrow night. What's left of Philippe continues to weaken. By tomorrow night and Friday, it'll start to really lose its its definition and just kind of become more of like a uh, typical tropical wave or tropical disturbance as this weakens the area behind it should get a little stronger now what happens with uh, the area behind it I'm not quite sure yet if it is stronger it'll swing more to the north pretty quickly if it stays weak it'll drift its way off to the west it's really hard to get a handle on the environment I watch all the models but also what's going on in the environment so let me bring you forward here again we are in the Caribbean here's Port Puerto Rico, for example, Trinidad and Tobago. This area here, the leftovers of uh, what we're seeing with Philippe. This would be by the time we get into Saturday and then back behind it, since again, Philippe would be weakening and falling apart behind it, that could strengthen. Another thing I'm watching is this front, and I talked about this in my October forecast, along these old fronts that pull through the United States, we can see areas spinning up. And I do believe near the east coast of the United States, even northern Bahamas, there could be something spinning up. Let me take you out in time. This is by the time we get into Tuesday. Now, by Tuesday, a few things to watch out for. Uh, the remnants of Philippe, will they kind of swing toward the United States or just march through the Caribbean? And then watching this spot back here, will it get stronger? Will it get a name Rena and kind of curve out to sea? Or will it also bring rain back toward portions of the Caribbean. And then you see a little flare up here off the southeast coast of the United States by deeper into next week. This is way down the road watching this. Uh, this would be uh, about a week and a half from now. But as I mentioned, these old fronts, there can be spin ups close to home. So I'll be watching that carefully. And then what could become Rena would be over here, most likely to the east of Bermuda. But it's really still a wait and see on that one. It's really hard to tell because they're so close together. It's almost hard to even pick out what could become Rena right there. Here's the American model. Here's this moisture here. And I'll zoom down into that. And you could see some of the differences as I take you out on time with this. The American model really has Philippe almost just fall apart totally and just has a new system, which would be Rena eventually taking over back behind it. So once Philippe weakens, 
the area behind it will start to develop. This is by Sunday. It's showing a slight increase of moisture in the northeastern Caribbean with some of the remnants of Philippe. You see some of the green right there. And then it is showing Rena getting stronger. And as I mentioned, if it gets stronger, it's more likely to make a curve. Most of the models have this actually making a sharper curve. And you can see it here. This is the area behind Philippe. This is what could become Rena again, drifting to the west. And then when it gets stronger, here are the, here's Barbados, for example, right here. I know this is a different map. So you get toward the Eastern Caribbean. A lot of the models, even some of the bigger major models, have it making a sharper curve to the north. Still a wait and see. Kind of depends on how quickly it gets stronger and uh, how much uh, it marches off to the west. So, all right, let me get you back here watching this heavy rain again near the Cayman Islands. Western Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, the Florida Straits lifting up toward Florida, some heavier rain, and still seeing the heavier rain parts of Costa Rica, northern Colombia. We've been seeing some rain as well scattered about over toward Belize. Jamaica yesterday, we are kind of on the edge of it. Some of us just had plain old sunshine. And then we have this blob over here, this heavier rain at times around, spinning in even a few showers toward Antigua and Barbuda. St. Kitts and Nevis, we may get a few showers, but watching out for the increased chance of rain. It's not organized, but I've been watching that overnight, reading your comments as well with some of the thunder and lightning we've had. Eastern Pacific side has been super quiet. All the activity has been on the Atlantic side. So showing you what we're dealing with here, and then again over here, this is as we get into later today. You see some green over toward Guadalupe, down through Martinique. We'll see that higher chance of showers, high chance of showers, Cayman Islands, Belize later today, lifting up toward Cuba. And then this is tomorrow. And I mentioned this front over Florida is a stalled front. That's going to keep this moisture plume in check, which means more rain. Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador tomorrow, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, very active. Scattered showers elsewhere, Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Still the same case on Friday, right up through the northern Bahamas. And then we'll be watching to see the remnants. What's left of Philippe would be right about there. And then that would start to drift our way. And then we'll keep an eye on that development that would be back behind it. So Jamaica today, once again on the edge of it, most of the heavy rain will be off toward the west as we go throughout the day. The Cayman Islands, we have the higher chance of rain. More flooding will be a potential. Keep me up to date. St. Lucia, 50% chance of scattered showers and storms around. We have some of that rain around right now. So the rain chance is elevated in St. Lucia. Barbados, about a 40% chance. Most has been to the west this morning, but still a 40% chance. Trinidad and Tobago, that chance of scattered showers and storms the next three days. A 40 to 50% chance in Grenada today. About a 40% chance in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And a 50% chance in Belize. Scattered showers and thunderstorms around across Belize. Dominique, we have that high chance of rain. I was just showing you that. A 70% chance of rain, which has already panned out. We had some of the rain overnight. St. Kitts and Nevis, a 50% chance. A 30% chance tomorrow as we get toward Montserrat. Antigua and Barbuda, the next few days, isolated showers kind of wrapping around that weak area in the Eastern Caribbean. But by the weekend, we could see that rain chance go up with what's left of Philippe. A 50% chance of scattered storms today in Puerto Rico. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, spotty showers rotating out of the east. We'll see some moving by and same thing in Anguilla. A 50% chance in the Bahamas, northern and central Bahamas, a better chance of getting some wet weather. St. Martin, St. Benstatia passing showers. 40% chance for today. Yucatan and Mexico, a 40% chance of scattered showers and storms the next few days. Turks and Caicos, a 30 to 40% chance. And holding on to a 50% chance in Cuba. Cuba, though, it's really going to favor our western sections. That's where there is a better chance of rain and storms. Haiti, 40% chance of some pop-up afternoon and evening storms and a 50% chance the next couple days in the Dominican Republic. Aruba, rain chance staying very low. Curacao and Bonaire, the rain chance also staying very low. Guadalupe, there's that higher chance with the action in the Eastern Caribbean, a 60 to 70% chance today. Same thing in Martinique, a 60 to 70% chance. That rain chance has clearly bumped up. Costa Rica, it's going to be staying high, watching out for some of that flooding. 40% chance today in northern Venezuela. 30% chance today in Guyana started to drop off, dropping off a little bit as well as we get into Suriname. And mainly dry in Bermuda, systems kind of splitting us on either side, east and west. So Philippe does weaken, I shouldn't say weekends, Philippe does weaken, but it is going to move closer. So I'm going to monitor how quickly it weakens. 
and where the rain will go over the next few days. I'll be fine tuning that, but a higher chance of rain as we work our way into the weekend for the northeastern Caribbean and then watching that system behind it just to see how close that gets and monitoring those areas of flooding. We've been seeing that parts of the Cayman Islands over toward uh, western Cuba up through Florida and parts of the Bahamas. Uh, very active hurricane season going through the end of November. So watching a few systems out there, I'll fine tune what's going to be happening over the next few days in the Caribbean. Keep you posted on everything. Have a good rest of your day.